Hello and welcome today. I'll be doing a swing state analysis on the state of Ohio. But before we get started, please go subscribe. We're currently at 342 subscribers. Let's hit 350 by the end of the month. So go and subscribe and let's get started. So we only have 10 days left in the presidential race between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. And we had the final presidential debate last Thursday. We're going to start on anal the analysis of the state of Ohio. We have a Trump victory map and a Biden victory map, both having counties already filled in, which will go safe no matter who wins the state. Of the 2016 election results and the 2018 governor election results for Ohio, as well as in the end, I will go over the exit polls on which groups of voters both candidates will have to win over to win the state. In my opinion, Ohio is definitely way more favored to go to Donald Trump. It went to, by him. It went to him by eight points in the previous election, and in 2018, Mike DeWine won the state by about four points. So we're going to start off looking at Delaware County, a suburb of Columbus, Ohio. It went to Donald Trump by about 16 points and in 2018 it went to Mike DeWine by about 15. Donald Trump will hold this county in the safe margin if he is to be winning the state. If Joe Biden wins the state he will have to narrow this county into the likely margin. In 2018 remember this is a win also by an, a Republican candidate Moving on, we're going to be going into Wood County. It swung to the right and went to Barack Obama by about five points in 2012. It also went to Mike DeWine by about four points. If Trump's going to win the state, it's probably going to be in the likely column. And if he is to lose the state by and by winning, it will probably be in the lean or more near toss-up going either way. Moving on to Ottawa County, it went to Donald Trump by about 19 points. This is a huge swing going to Barack Obama by 5 points previously. That's a 25-point swing. And in the 2018 midterms, it went to Mike DeWine by 12 points. Trump will hold this county in the safe margin if he's to win, and it'll be in probably the likely margin or even close to the lean margin if Joe Biden is to win the state. Moving into Erie County, it went to Donald Trump by nine points. It was held by Mike DeWine by about three. Trump will carry the county by a likely margin and a victory for him, and Joe Biden will probably have to flip this county to be able to uh, flip the state from Donald Trump, which would mean he'd have to swing the race there by nine points from the previous presidential election. In uh, Lorain County, it went to Hillary Clinton by 0.1 points, or about 100 votes only. In 2018, it swung back to the Democrats. Richard Cotere won it by about six points. Trump will, in a Trump victory, it'll probably be in the lean column, and in a Biden victory, it will have to be in the likely column. Joe Biden will have to get way more voters to be able to side with him to flip the state. Trump won it by about a little under 500,000. That's going to be in big swing if he's going to flip the state. In Akin or Summit County, it went to uh, Hillary Clinton by about 8 points, and it went to Richard Cordray by about 14. If Trump's going to win, it's going to go in the likely, and if Biden wins, it has to go in the safe column. Moving into Stark County, went to Trump by... It went to Trump by over 20 points, and it swung heavily. It went to Barack Obama previously, and in 2018, it was only a 11-point victory for Mike DeWine. Trump will win in the save column if he's to win the state, and 
If Joe Biden is to win the state, it'll have to narrow up into a likely margin at least. Moving into Portage County, it went to Donald Trump by 10 points, and it went to Mike DeWine by a little over one point. Trump will carry this in the likely column, and Joe Biden will have to flip the county to win the state. Moving into Mahoning County, it went to Hillary Clinton by three points. It swung heavily. It was a 63% victory for Barack Obama previously to Mitt Romney's 35%. That is a huge, huge swing of 30 points about in the county. In 2018, it went to Cordray by about 12. If Trump's the one in the state, it will go probably in the likely margin. And if Joe Biden is going to win the state, he will have to get this county back into the safe column. In Trumbull County, it went to Trump by six points, and it went to Richard Corduroy by six points. If Trump's going to win the state, it will go to him in the lean or likely column. And Joe Biden will have to get this in the likely column if he's going to flip the state. In Ashtalva County, it went to Trump by 19 points. In 2018, it went to Mike DeWine by about 11. If Trump's going to win the state, save column. And if Biden's going to win the state, it will have to go at least in the likely column for Trump. In Lake County, it went to Trump by about 15 points, and it went to Mike DeWine by 10 points. So both will be likely in both scenarios, just more narrow in a Biden victory map. We only have two counties left which have huge population centers, Dayton, which went to Trump by 0.7 points, and Cincinnati or Hamilton County, which went to Hillary Clinton by about 10. In Dayton, it shifted slightly, Republican going 5 points to Barack Obama to going by a little under 1 point to Donald Trump. In 2018, it was held by Mike DeWine by only 0.1 points. If Trump's going to win the state, he will probably carry Dayton again, but if, if uh, Joe Biden's going to the state, he will have to flip this county. Moving on to the last county, Cincinnati or Hamilton County went to Hillary Clinton by 10 points, and Richard Corderay won it by also 10 points. Donald Trump will probably have this county in the likely margin if he wins, and Joe Biden will have to get this county into the safe margin if he's going to win the state. It's going to be very, very difficult for him to do, to do so, as well as doing huge flips and swings in other counties as it is. In a Trump victory, Trump wins 80 counties compared to Joe Biden's 8, and in a Biden victory, 76 counties go to Donald Trump, 12 go to Joe Biden. We're going to go into the exit polls of which types of voters Trump and Joe Biden are going to have to appeal to to win. Among gender, Trump heavily won male voters and had a close race with female voters. Joe Biden will have to get a lot more female support and not lose any more support among males to be able to win the state. Trump will probably have to hold his male support and lose the least amount of female support as possible, but he has a large gap that he won by in 2016, so he has a lot of margin to lose, too. By age, Trump only uh, lost the 18 to 29 by 9 points, very close compared to many other states, and won every other age group by over 50%. Biden will have to get the 30 to 44 vote and the 18 to 29 vote by a decent margin to be able to win the state. He's likely to pick up some of the 65 and older vote, but not too much. Among race, Trump won white voters almost by six over 60%, and Joe, uh, Hillary Clinton won African Americans by 88%. And Latinos by 67%. Joe Biden will have to gain support among white voters and get out a lot of the African American vote if he's going to be able to flip the state. Donald Trump will have to hold the support where it's at or slightly 
expanded in different areas, such as the African American and Latino vote, which he is likely to do slightly and lose slight support among white voters. Trump also won among every single education level. If Biden's going to win, he's going to need to win post-grads as well as narrow the margins with college graduates. Trump is likely to expand his support among high school or less than some college voters. In the income, Trump's likely to expand between the $50,000 to $200,000 income. Joe Biden will have to flip the $30,000 to $50,000 income and expand the under $30,000 income. Among party ID, Biden will have to win independence over, as well as get a lot more Democrats to swing back to him. Over 10% of Democrats in 2016 went to Donald Trump in Ohio, which is not good because only 7% of Republicans went to Hillary Clinton. Evangelicals make up a huge portion of the vote here, 33%, and usually they heavily support Trump and Republicans. Trump won it by 77%. It's likely to have slightly higher turnout, even more this time, and have a slight more support for Trump again. Trump's likely to support a little bit, lose some support among the non-evangelical Christian vote, slightly. Biden's likely to expand among Catholic voters, but Trump's likely to expand among Protestant voters very slightly. Let's see, is there any other demographic here? Union households. Clinton lost union households more than non-union uh, households, which is terrible. Unions used to heavily support Democratic candidates, Biden will have to win the union vote, which would be very difficult, or chip away at the non-union vote as well. But he will have to at least win one of these groups to be able to win the election in Ohio, which is going to be very difficult for him. For issues in Ohio, the biggest one was the economy, and this time around that's going to be played Mostly by Trump, it's going to be probably the top issue again in Ohio and probably nationwide, followed by the coronavirus, and then probably by, I'd say, race relations, and then maybe immigration or foreign policy, which Trump's going to be probably winning in, oh yeah, I forgot the, uh, the court uh, is going to be a big one on here too, which Trump will likely win over, but Biden will win over the COVID as the biggest issue facing the country. Let's see. Where is it? Uh, here we go. Area type. Trump heavily won rural area and suburban area voters. Biden will have to pick up a lot of support among urban area as well as chip away at the suburban area voters. Trump's likely to expand on his rural support and expand the amount of rural turnout. Biden, if he's going to be able to win the state, it's going to be very, very difficult for him on what it, what it looked like in 2016 and 2018. This is the final map of a Trump victory map for Ohio versus a Biden victory map in Ohio. Thank you for watching. Please go like, comment, and subscribe. Let's hit 350 subscribers by the end of the month. So thank you for watching.